Yes, yeah, so needs and adaptions to appliances, etc. And what there is something that I suggest everyone goes and asks for. It is called an assessment of need. It's by Adult Social Care. Um, when you approach them, don't mention anything about benefits. Just get them to assess your needs at home. Do not be fobbed off by a phone call where an assessor will start asking you questions down the phone. That's pointless. You need someone to come to your home to assess the difficulties and the risks you face at home. They can't do it down the phone. It's a bit like these private contractors using a muscular skeletal examination to assess you down the phone in regards to where your pains and difficulties are. They can't see it by the phone and they're pulling things out the air. That's pointless. You want a physical assessment of need. How you do this, you contact your local council you contact Adult Social Care or ADSAC and you go and ask for an assessment of need. Now, an occupational therapy assessment, this is, where they come and assess, all right? Unless you are severely, severely impaired where you can also get social care assessments and that's for cooking, washing and so forth. Um, if you want me to, I can touch base on that a little bit further in different blogs. But today this is about getting an assessment of need and showing the need for adaptions. Okay, uh, I touched on wheelchair, not being able to self propel it because you've got carpal tunnel. OK, um, you need to look at this all the way through your descriptors from cooking to eating, taking nutrition. Do you need specialised knife and forks? Do you need specialised equipment to open tin cans? Can't you even use it and you need someone to feed you? OK, medication. Do you use a dosset box? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday on it. Does your chemist give you medication with them days on, them days on it? And do you need an alarm on your phone? Um, the list goes on. Um, there may be other things that I haven't thought of, but look, be mindful when you're thinking about aids and adaptions is what is out there and what is out there that we haven't discovered yet, okay? Um, Prime example, people go on about putting socks on and knickknocks and undies and so forth. Little picker, you know, four for extension with a little thing, boom, boom. Many people thought, well, I haven't thought of that. That's an aid and adaption. Long head, long handled shoehorn. That's another thing. Adapted clothing, you know, you have to, you can't do zips, you can't do buttons, so you have to wear baggies, you have to wear elasticated stuff. Um, these are the type of aids and adaptions should be considered, but also investigate a little bit more and see if there are other things. And as I said, it's not about whether you have them, it's whether you need them. So prime example, adult social care assessment of need. Up and down stairs. I, over the years, so many people up and down stairs on their bottoms, falls, trips, injuries, so forth. They've never even considered adult social care. Please come into my house and assess my difficulties. You may get, you know, the grants out there, or they may put it in. If it's not your property, speak to your landlord. Some landlords may even look at it as an investment for that, you know, upgrading their house for future reference. Um, there are grants out there. It's all assessment of need individual individual independence you and you only doesn't matter if joe blogs next door has got this or got that and so forth that's not relevant because it's not them being assessed it is you so therefore utilize it is a phone call free phone call do not be fobbed off with a phone assessment i must reiterate that vehemently you know if you want something done, you tell them you want a professional to come to your home and assess you. All right. Um, I will carry on with another blog in regards to this because there's a couple of other areas of contention that need to be touched in regards to these assessment and your adaptions and your, the, you know, the need for them. Um, I don't want to go on too long on each blog 
in regards to this but this is a real key area in regards to you get this right you're on the right path to succeeding um, that's about all I can say on that I'm going to leave you on that note for the moment but yeah succeeding to succeed at this I would suggest you get an assessment of need talk again